Hello, my name is Lisette, so welcome to your practice today. We're going to start on all fours, so just go ahead and come to your hands on your knees. Your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. And we're going to start just warming up the wrists, so we're going to move forward and back. Make sure your whole hand is pressing down into the floor, and especially your index knuckles are pressing down into the floor, so there's no copying of the hands anyway in any way. So you're strong through the hands. Give a breath normally in and out through the nose. Just a few more times. And then you come back to center. You bring your fingertips to face out to the sides. And then you go side to side. You know, same thing with side to side. Try to keep your shoulders on top of your wrists. See where you can go. And then just go for a circular motion, any side you want. Just moving forward, side, back and side. And then go up towards the other side. There you go. Good. Come back to center. Lay back on your heels. Check your hands a little bit. Draw the shoulders back. Check the arms a little bit if you need to, just that it feels nice and loose. And then bring your hands back again onto the floor. From all fours, think that you're going to walk your hands like one hand, hand print forward. Downward facing dog, tuck your toes under and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Any amount, see where you are today. And remember that you want to stretch through the spine first. If you have to keep your knees bent, do that. No problem. If it feels okay with your legs, then you start to stretch your heels back towards the floor. Breathe in and out through the nose. I'll look forward towards your hands. Inhale, come forward into plank pose. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Two more times. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more. Inhale to plank. Exhale to downward facing dog. We're going to inhale, coming into plank once again. And this time we're going to lay all the way down on the floor. Good. You're going to come up onto your forearms. So when your elbows underneath your shoulders, your hands in front of your elbows. So think hands, elbows, shoulders are on the same line. You're going to keep your to toes tucked on the mat. And then you're going to inhale to send the chest forward and look up. Then you're going to exhale to round and lift the hips off the floor. Good. Again, inhale, drop the hips down, look forward and up. Exhale, crunch it. Inhale, drop the hips, look forward and up. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, draw the hips down. Breathe. Point the toes back. Sphinx pose. Press your hands on the floor. Draw the shoulders back away from the ears. Look forward. Breathe. Then look over towards your right shoulder and kind of twist a little bit. Whatever you can go. Looking back towards your right foot. And then come back to center. Send your right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, and you twist. Looking back towards the left foot. Once again, look forward and over towards your right. And then look forward and over towards your left. There you go. Come back to center. Drop the chin down to the floor. You're going to walk your hands back a little bit more, kind of to your ribs. Hug your elbows in towards each other, shoulders back. Tuck your toes under. We're going to push up to a plank position. So you want, if you need to keep your knees on the floor, do it. Inhale. Exhale, push up to plank. Keep it here for an inhale. Exhale to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, bring your right leg back and up to the ceiling. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, bring it back up. 
exhale right knee to nose inhale bring it back up exhale right knee to nose look forward this time step your right foot forward in between your hands low lunge lower your left knee down to the floor and bring your hands towards your right knee keep your left toes tucked on the mat breathe take a moment relax the shoulders and then you can stay here you're gonna lift that back knee off the floor and as you lift that back knee off the floor think that left hip comes forward right hip goes back squaring your hips towards the front breathe and then you're gonna lower that left knee back to the floor lease our lounge you're gonna walk your foot over towards your right bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot you're gonna stay here or if you want to go a little bit deeper the elbows can go down to a block or to the floor if you want to go deeper than that i'm going to stay with the arms straight i'll say it's early in the morning for me and i just need a little bit just to be gentle with the hips keep the breath good if you're down on your elbows come back into your hands walk your right foot back in line more to the center of your mat and towel right where you were before half splits you're going to draw the hips back right heel on the floor right toes up towards the ceiling hands on your blocks if you need to you're going to fold in towards your right leg any amount right hip pulls back left hip pulls forward as you breathe and fold in relax your face Give the belly in. Get to bend on your right leg. Hands on the floor, downward facing dog. Just push back. Find your down dog. Relax your neck. There you go. Inhale, bring your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, bring it back up exhale left knee to nose inhale bring it back up exhale left knee to nose this time hold it round 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 and then look down in between your hands and step your left foot forward low lunge lower your right knee down to the floor lift up bring your hands towards your left knee you can stay here or keep your right toes tucked on the floor and you're gonna lift the right knee off the floor breathe and then here walk work with your hips so right hip forward left hip back breathe good you're gonna lower your back knee down to the floor lease our lounge move that left foot out to the left bring the left hand to the inside of your left foot there you go you know you can stay here you can go deeper with the elbows and uh, somewhere nice it would be kind of an, on a block so you go halfway if going with the elbows down feels too much you can point the right toes back keep your right toes in see what feels nice usually this side feels a little bit more open for me we're all different on each side of the body Good. get the breath going normal relax your face and then if you're down on your elbows come back onto your hands walk that left foot in more to the center have split so you draw your hips back you straighten your left leg as much as it goes and fold then towards your left leg Good. pull that left hip back right hip forward be gentle if you're very tight then blocks are absolutely Blocks are so nice, <laughs> basically, to get your hands on your blocks, I mean. Good, we bend on your left leg. Downward facing dog, so hands on the floor. Step it back, find your down dog. Then look forward towards your hands. Inhale, bend your knees, get high on your toes. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. 
Inhale, come all the way up, arms over the hip. Look up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Soul salutation A. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold in from your waist. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift up, upward facing dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths, look back, relax your neck, push the floor away from you. Strong through the hands again. Feel your index knuckles, press them down into the floor. Breathe. And then look forward towards your hands. Inhale, bend your knees, get high on your toes. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms over the head, look up, arms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold from your waist. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, upward facing dog. And then exhale to your downward facing dog. Three breaths. In and out through the nose, externally rotate the upper arms. Breathe. Keep your eyes on one spot. So find your drishti. Keep it. And look forward towards your hands. Inhale, bend your knees, get high on your toes. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, lift them halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms over the head. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold in. Hands to your legs, the floor, or your calves. Inhale, lift them halfway. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, upward facing dog. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Once again, find your step. If you feel more open on the back of the legs, press your heels back a little bit more. Strong through the arms. Find more length. Through the legs, the spine, the arms. And look forward towards your hands. Inhale, bend your knees, get high on your toes. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, arms over the head. Look up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stone salutation B. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, upward facing. Exhale, to downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your right leg back and up to the ceiling. Exhale, the right foot steps forward in between the hands, warrior one. Left heel down, inhale. Rise up with the arms, bring the arms up towards the ceiling, find your breath. Breath normally in and out through the nose, left foot flat on the floor. Then bring your hands back to the floor, step back into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, upward facing dog. Exhale, to downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, bring your left leg back and up. Exhale, the left foot steps forward and between the hands, warrior one. Inhale, rise up with the arms. Bring the arms up towards the ceiling. Keep your breath going in and out through the nose. Good. Then bring your hands back to the floor. Step back into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, to downward facing dog. And look forward towards your hands. Inhale, bend your knees, get high on your toes. Exhale, step or jump forward. 
Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, chair pose, hips down, arms up. Exhale, samastitihi. Good. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift them halfway. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, to your downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your right leg back and off to the ceiling, stretch it back. Exhale, the right foot steps forward in between the hands, warrior two. Inhale, rise up and open the arms out to the sides. Now, here we go. Strong through the, strong through the legs. Heel to heel, or right heel to left arch. Stretch the arms, relax the shoulders and the face. Enjoy it, spine straight in the center. Inhale, bring your right palm up to the ceiling. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Breathe. Keep your right knee where it is. Come back to warrior two. Side angle pose, right elbow to your right knee. Or fingertips, hand down to the floor, whatever works for you. Hand to a block if you need it to. Keep stretching through the back leg. Left it flat on the floor. Find the breath. Bring your left hand down to the floor, standing splits. So send the body weight forward towards your right foot. Come forward to stand on your right foot. Send your left foot up towards the ceiling. I know, I don't like this one at all either. <laughs> Good, so press the right foot down into the floor. Bring the left leg up. Find the breath. Good. Relax your neck, maybe. And with control, step your left foot back to the back of your mat. The back into plank, vinyasa or downward facing dog, your choice. Take your own pace. We meet in downward facing dogs. So if you need a little bit of break, you know, skip the vinyasa, stay in downward facing dog. If you feel strong, keep working and go for it. Left side, inhale, bring your left leg back and up. Exhale, the left foot steps forward in between the hands for warrior two. Inhale, open the arms out to the sides. Go deep into that front leg. Find the breath. Spine straight in the center. Good. Relax the shoulders, stretch the arms. Inhale, bring your left palm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, reverse. Good, focus one spot. Come back to warrior two. And side angle pose, left elbow to your knee, finger dips down to the floor. If you want to go deep, your right arm goes forward. Right leg straight, right foot flat on the floor. Bring your right hand down to the floor. Standing splits, transfer the body weight forward towards your left foot. And then come forward, just stand on your left leg, send your right leg back. Left hand can go to your calf or to your heel as you pull your right leg off towards the ceiling. And the breath. And with control, step back into plank. Vinyasa or downward facing dog. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Don't lower your knees. Child's pose. Quick one. So open your knees as wide as you need to. Big toes touch. Lower your forehead down to the floor. Let the arms rest forward or back close to the body. And take a moment. You have like three breaths. Three more breaths there. If this bothers your knees, you know, just sit. Stay in down dog. Modify as you need to. There you go. Stretch the arms forward to the top of your mat. Downward facing dog, please tuck your toes under, lift the hips. And with 
continue again. Inhale, bring your right leg back and up to the ceiling. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, right knee to nose. Hold it there. Then bring your right knee towards your right tricep and lower your right knee down to the floor, half pigeon pose. Good. So stretch your left leg back and see how it works for you. If you're flexible on your right hip, flex your right foot, bring your right foot forward a little bit more. If you're tight, point your right toes and bring your right foot back towards your left hip. See what works for you. Once you find it there, stretch your left leg back. And if you look back towards your left leg, you see it pointing back. It's kind of straight, going all the way back. Breathe. Then stay with your fingertips down on the floor on your blocks, lift the chest and just work from here. We're not gonna fold in until later, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Good. Bring your hands back to the floor, I mean close to you. Tuck your left toes under, side plank. So you're basically gonna push yourself up, left hand stays on the floor, right foot goes back with the left, right arm opens up towards the ceiling. Now if you need to modify, lower your left knee down on the floor, bring your right foot in front of your left, or keep your legs together, feet together. Find the breath, focus whatever works for you. Lift the right foot up towards the ceiling, then bring it behind you, step it back, wild thing. Lift the hips and stretch right arm forward. Any amount, don't make it the deepest one if you feel tight on your back. Could be like a kind of side stretch or back bend. Then with control, you're gonna lower your hips down to the floor. Good, so you're gonna sit facing towards the back of your mat. Good, just like that, take a break. Keep your right knee in, focus. <laughs> Good, press the left, left hand down on the floor. Think side plank again. So you're gonna push, come into the outer edge of your left foot. You're gonna bring your right foot back with the left, right arm up towards the ceiling. Then you're gonna lift the right foot up, right knee towards your chest, right foot steps forward. Good, warrior two. Swing all the way, so the arms up and up. Good job, there you go. Stretch the arms forward and back. Breathe. Good. I'm gonna come back to center. Hands to prayer, skandasana. So right toes go in a little bit, left toes go out. And you're gonna deep squat into your left leg. Good, you need your hands, use your hands on the floor, no problem. Maybe that left heel comes out of the floor. Maybe you can keep it down. Find the breath. You can stay here. If it feels stable for you, you can even open the chest and kind of really reach up. Good, bring your right hand down to the floor. Look at your right foot, thinking that your right toes go forward towards the front. Warrior three. So you're gonna come forward to stand. Hands come to prayer, come forward to stand on your right legs and your left leg back. If you need the balance, use your hands. Breathe. Get belly in, stretch forward and back. Then your hands go down to the floor. You're gonna bend your right leg as much as you need to. Maybe take it back a little bit. Then you're gonna kind of bend your right leg and take a hop back a little bit more. And take one more hop back a little bit more. And one more back. One leg, chaturanga. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Find your breath, in and out through your nose. There you go, left side. Inhale, bring your left leg back and up. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, bring it back up. 
Exhale, left knee to nose. Go forward, forward, forward. Then left knee towards your left tricep. Drop it down. Half pigeon pose. There you go. You know your options with that left leg. See wherever it feels good. And you find some challenging, you know, you can challenge yourself a little bit. You work with the hip. Look back towards your right leg. Stretch it back. Stay on your finger deep. Turn your blocks or lift the chest. Bring your right hand, bring your hands back to the floor. We're going to side plank. So think, right hand stays there where it is. So tuck your right toes under, push, bring your left leg back with the right, right arm goes up towards the ceiling. You can lower your right knee. You can bring that left foot in front of your right. You can keep your feet together. Find the breath. Strong push the flow away from you. Breathe. Good. You're going to lift that left leg up, bring it behind you, wild thing. So you're gonna push the heaps and stretch forward and up. See how far you can go. Open the chest, strong through the right hand. And then with control, you're gonna lower your hips down to the floor. There you go, take a break. <laughs> Bring your left foot in, so it's close to you. Good. Then keep your right hand where it is. Where it is. So think, side plank again. So you're basically gonna push that right hand on the floor, come back into your side plank position. Lift that left leg up, hug your left knee into your chest. Warrior two, left foot steps forward, right heel down on the floor, and then you open the arms out to the sides. Good. Take a moment, breathe. Straighten your left leg, bring your left toes in a little bit, right toes out a little bit, Skandasana. Come and deep squat into your right leg, modify as you need to. Once again, you have the balance. The hands can come to prayer or you can lift the left arm up towards the ceiling. Bring your left hand down to the floor. Look at your left foot. Warrior three. So come forward to stand on your left foot. Stretch your right leg back. Belly in. It's not a back bend. So keep the spine long. and Belly in. Support yourself. Stretch forward and back. Then lower your right hand. Your hands back to the floor. You're going to bend your left leg as much as you need to, so you can take a jump back a little bit. And once again, you're going to jump back a little bit more. And then you're going to jump back a little bit more. One leg, Chaturanga. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up, upward facing. Exhale to downward facing dog. Good, Jeff. Breathe. Relax your face. Then look forward towards your hands. Bring your feet together to touch, side to side. Look forward, bend your knees, get high on your toes. Then step or jump forward into chair pose. Legs together, feet together. You're gonna start to lower. Down towards the floor with control. Until you sit down completely. Good. Make your space. Find space on your mat. Stretch your both legs forward towards the front. Paschimottanasana. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, and fold them. You can grab your big toes. You can grab your heels. You can bend your legs more if you need to. And then you're going to take a few breaths here. Relax your neck. Relax the shoulders. Don't worry where you are. Don't stress about where you have been before. Sometimes you know. Sometimes we get tighter and we used to be more flexible and you're like, oh my God, I could, use, I could do this so much better before. Forget about it. 
There's nothing you can do about the past. It's just you and the now. Two more breaths. Good. Inhale, lift the chest. Good. We're going to go for a little bit of core. I know you were waiting for it. <laughs> so you're going to bend your legs, feet on the floor. Navasana, boat pose. Now you're going to grab on your hamstrings on the back of your legs, and you're going to lift your feet off the floor, bringing your chin spiraled to the floor. And then you can stay here grabbing on your hamstrings, and you feel okay with it. Then the arms go forward towards your feet. If you feel your flexible in the back of your legs, then you're going to stretch your legs up towards the ceiling any amount, and you're going to start breathing here. So we're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Lower your feet down to the floor, open your knees out to the side. Supta, no, Supta, Baddha Konasana. So interlace your fingers. I usually say this wrong all the time. I don't know why. <laughs> and then you fold then. And don't go for the classic one where you have your feet very close to you. Just go with some space so you can just really relax. Some space in between your feet and your body. There you go. Lift the chest. Bring your legs together, feet together. There you go. Kind of, it's not going to be the same thing, but kind of the same thing. So grab on your hamstrings, lift the feet up. Good. So you can stay here if it feels okay for you, and you can go for more. And you're going to keep your chin spiraled to the floor, and you're going to stretch the arms forward. So palms together, breathe. And then you're going to twist over towards your right, kind of touch the floor if you can, and back to center. And then over towards your left, touch the floor maybe, and then back to center. You can stay here, or you can straighten the legs a little bit. And then you go over towards your right, and back to center. Then over towards your left, and back to center. One more, over towards your right, back to center. Over towards your left, back to center. You're going to bring your hands behind you, hold it. Breathe, and with control, you're going to lower your legs, stretch, 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 stretch. Once your feet touch the floor, you can keep your legs straight, or you can bend your legs a little bit. You will see what you want. And then you're going to push the hips up towards the ceiling, drop the head back, squeeze your bum, belly in, and lift. And with control, lower your hips down, Paschimottanasana, forward fold again. Good job. There you go. Relax. I know that one is a hard one, but it's so good to open the front body, to just like really open up after crunching. Good. Two more breaths. Good. Inhale, lift the chest, Janashirasana. Left foot goes out to the left, bring your right foot in. Turn a little bit more towards the left, go and grab your left foot, bend your left leg if you need to, or use a strap. Inhale, lift. Exhale and fold in. Any amount. Find your breath. Right shoulder moves down. One more breath. Good. Lift the chest. Switch legs. Right leg goes out. Left leg goes in. Turn the lead of it towards your right. Go and grab your right foot. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale and fold in. Sleep as you can. Left shoulder moves down. Breathe. One more breath. Inhale, lift up halfway. Come forward. 
Now keep your left knee down what it is. Good. Spine twist. So bring your right foot to the outside of your left knee. Make sure that right hip goes down to the floor so you're not just hanging into the left hip, but both hips down. Good. Bring your right hand behind you. Left elbow towards your right knee. Inhale as you lift up. Left shoulder goes down. Exhale as you twist back. Good. Come back to center. Drop your right knee down to the floor. Switch legs. So right knee down, left foot down on the floor. Left hip is down. Left hand behind you, right elbow to the outside of your right knee. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale as you twist back. Shoulders down, find the breath. And then just twist. And come back to center. Stretch your both legs forward. Good. So the both legs are going to go forward in front of you. Keep with distance apart with your feet. Point the toes forward. Like really, really pointing through the toes. You're going to stretch the arms forward. And you're going to round the spine. And then from there, you're going to start going back towards the floor. And then I want you to imagine every little single piece of your spine. The legs are active. Every little single piece of your spine is going to touch the floor. And we're not going to go all the way down towards the floor yet. We're just going to stop right there where it gets difficult for you. And you're going to pull it up again. Got to relax the arms, your face, everything you need to relax because we tend so much while doing this. Good. Stretch your legs forward. Point the toes around the spine. Stretch with the arms and then round as you go back. Take your time. If I'm going too fast for you, you do it slowly, slower. Good. You're not going to go all the way back. I'm just going to stop right there where it gets really like challenging for you. And you're going to pull that up. Okay, relax your arms, the face, everything. Last one, we're going to lay down into Savasana for this one. Okay, so stretch the arms forward, point the toes, stretch the legs forward, point the toes, engage the legs, so really feel it on your quads. Stretch forward, round, and then start going back. This time, you're going to lay back, all the way back into Savasana. Go there at your own pace. Once you get on your back, you're going to close your eyes. And you're going to make yourself comfortable on the floor. Savasana. I was going to do it with you, but I have my mic on the back and it's not going to happen. Good. Close your eyes. Soften your face. I want you to think, like really think, your face is going to be as relaxed as possible, even more than the body, because it starts with the face. Smile a little bit. And stay here as long as you need to. It's your savasana. So take it as long as it makes you feel good. Well, thank yourself for your practice today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me today, working hard. Namaste.